Hello and welcome everybody, I'm OnePropaVarian and you may know me from my channel here on YouTube. Today I'm working with Paradox Interactive to bring you a quick guide on one of the central features of Crusader Kings 3's flavor pack, Legacy of Persia. I will tell you everything that you need to know to get off to a good start in the Iranian Intermezzo. This chaotic struggle is available if you start in the year 867 and has a lot going on. I will first tell you why people are struggling in the first place, how the phases of the struggle work, and lastly, in what ways you can end it. Let's start by checking out the historical backdrop. The Iranian Intermezzo finds the region in a terrible state. While a rebellion against the Caliph rages on in Mesopotamia at the time of the start date, the lords of the East are spinning their own nefarious webs. On the one side of the struggle, we have the steadfast supporters of the Caliph, who are attempting to restore order, whereas their opponents come from many different faiths, cultures and creeds but all share a vision of a world in which the Caliph's influence is no more. Whichever side comes out on top is up to your cunning and skill should you choose to participate in this fight. The struggle represents a chance for the Caliphate to re-emerge like a phoenix or make way for a new order. The historical split between supporters and detractors is the central axis of this conflict and is reflected in the struggle phases as well. There are a total of three phases. Unrest, stabilization and a special phase called concession. The Iranian Intermezzo always starts in the phase of unrest. Both sides are given a myriad of tools here to clash with each other. Detractors will be able to destabilize the entire region by fomenting revolts as well as inviting in foreign invaders when they pay powerful Turkic warlords to attack their opponents. It is also much easier to invade entire kingdoms in one fell swoop should that be what you desire. Meanwhile, supporters of the Caliphate, including the Caliph himself, can oust disloyal rulers in the region by installing loyalist puppets instead. There are a great many tools and a great many effects available to participants in this phase of the struggle, and whether you enjoy warfare or intrigue, you will have plenty of opportunity to advance the cause of your side. This struggle phase's natural successor is stabilization. The more successful the supporters of the Caliph are, the quicker the stabilization phase is entered. This phase will give the entire region some time to breathe as it limits how outright aggressive rulers can be and encourages peaceful settlements of conflicts. You will of course find that this phase also offers plenty of opportunities to claim what should rightfully be yours and take it. It would be wise to strengthen yourself and your allies during this period of stabilization as much as you can by claiming titles or for example forging new bonds. Because when this phase does come to an end, unrest will descend upon Persia once more. As you can see, this struggle is a tug of war between the detractors and the supporters directly expressed in the back and forth of unrest and stabilization. The struggle, as mentioned, has a third phase, but it is different from the other two phases. Concession. The last phase will continuously accumulate progress, and its progress is not reset when you switch between the other two stages. This phase is, more than anything, simply a ticking clock. Should neither side have succeeded in seeing their vision through in time, the feuds over caliphal power may simply fade away. Entering this phase immediately ends the struggle without a clear winner. This struggle ending phase is most likely to progress when detractors and supporters put their differences aside and work together. There are of course much more glorious ways to finish this conflict, so let's talk about them. For one, Abbasid humiliation is the ending decision for detractors of the Caliphate and can only be selected if you are in the unrest phase of the struggle. In this decision, you can either found your own caliphate and leave Sunni Islam behind, or you can dominate the caliph and become the master of your head of faith. In contrast to this, the next option is to renew the caliphate. This decision is meant for supporters of the caliphate and can only be selected within the stabilization phase. Enacting this decision would lead to a renewed age of conquest and unity for all of Islam and potentially allow the Muslim world to spread further than ever thought possible. Last but very much not least, you may decide that what truly matters in this conflict is that Iran shall stand as gloriously as it once did in the past. If you were to achieve this ambitious task, driving out both the detractors and the supporters of the Caliph, you may even initiate a resurgence of the old Zoroastrian beliefs. But whichever goal you desire to achieve in this struggle, you're now equipped with enough knowledge to jump straight into the cold water. Thank you for watching this quick guide to the Iranian Intermezzo and make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one. I am one proper variant and I will see you later, alligator.